This is the Region Rush. It's the ESPN 97.7 Region Rush. He's Carrick. He's Lawrence. I'm Andy. We're ready to rush. Best nine plays in Region this week. Number nine, we start on the defensive side of the ball. How about Trey Hershey, the big fella, scraping down the line of scrimmage and bagging himself a pirate. Number eight, it's Pineview. They've been scoring in bunches this year. Adam Moore, Brock Harris, no problem, makes the catch tiptoeing for the touchdown. Number seven at Dixie, late second quarter, Kaysen Grover with a pick six all the way to the house. And the Fly Nation goes crazy. Number six, Crimson Cliffs up at Bingham. Almost had the upset in this one, but hey, we got touchdown still. It's Tyler West for the score. Jump ball here, Cedar going up to JT Jeter. 50-50 ball, he comes down with it like he always does for the Reds. Number four, Snow Canyon, the Warriors. It's Talon Kelly, Cale Johnson making the catch. Getting into the end zone, touchdown, Snow Canyon. Number three, how about Jake Alberts? We're gonna slow this one down for you against Lehigh. Watch this one-handed interception. Great concentration by the senior. Casey turns, looks at his quarterback, he'll snap it. Pump fakes, swivels, down the side, off the fake, he's got his man! It's Junior Coughlin! He's tackled into the end zone! Touchdown, Dixie! And number one, back to Pineview. Quincy Jones had the hat trick last week. How about another one? Nearly 400 yards receiving for Jones this week. This one, a 97 yard pitch and catch from Adam Moore. He could go all the way. Touchdown, Panthers. Region Rush brought to you by the Matt Hickman team at Academy Mortgage. Tune in to Region 9 Game Day, built by Bucks Ace this Friday, starting at 5 p.m., right here on ESPN 97.7. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Region Rush Player Spotlight brought to you by Ideal Home and Auto Paint. We welcome in Ellie Hendricks from the Desert Hills Thunder soccer team. How's it going, Ellie? Good. You've got some huge news <laughs> that a lot of people already know, but you had an incredible um, uh, event in your soccer career that just mm -hmm. happened against Dixie. You set the all-time record for Desert Hill Soccer. Yes. Tell us about uh, the record sitting at 36 goals for the, for the Thunder right now. Um, it's it's exciting. It's cool. I've watched Desert Hills play for years, even before I went to school there, and it's cool. I've always watched the other players, and I've watched mm -hmm. them score goals, and that's always something I wanted to do. So it's exciting that I was able to do that and break the record, but it's just fun being able to live out what I've always watched and what I've always wanted to do. What do you remember? We're going to play the clip right now. What do you remember about this play and how it all went down when you had that goal that actually broke the all-time record? Um, uh, one of my teammates, my holding mid, Hannah He, and she got the ball. She fought off a defender and she just played it down to me. And I was able to keep the ball and just get an open shot and went right past the goalie. Of course, you've got a bunch of assists in your career at, as well. So just. Just describe you know, what it's been like to work with these teammates that you've played with over the last few years and whether you're scoring or whether you're setting them up to score, describe what it's like to play mm -hmm. for the Desert Hills Thunder. Well, I've played with a lot of different players at Desert Hills, like going back to freshman year. So I think it's really fun. You know, there's different people assisting me and then I get to do the same for other people and I get to like help other people score and help my teammates achieve their goals and celebrate and get excited doing what they want to do also. Talk about that. Let's expound on that a little bit. I know, you know, some people, you know, let's look at Messi, for example. Mm -hmm. If he comes into Major League Soccer and it's all the Messi show, all about him, he's doing his best to deflect mm -hmm. that to his teammates, right? Talk about that, that team mentality. It, it seems like the best teams, the team is right. the star. It doesn't matter who scores yeah. as long as we get the ball in the back of the net, right? Yeah, I think that is a lot of the thought, especially for our team, is that it really doesn't matter who scores. I mean, like it's exciting that I got to break the record, and of course I want to like keep doing that, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter who's getting the goal. I think it's more just that the team is getting the goal, and I think what's exciting for us is when we have games where lots of different people score and lots of different people get to experience like the excitement of scoring a goal because that's like at the end of the day that's what everyone really wants to do is like feel proud of themselves for being able to score you guys are five and two right now mm -hmm. two and oh in region yeah. tell me about this season so far for the thunder the seasons it's been a special season it's been really fun going back to even camp 
in the middle of December, we've had a really special team and a really special bond with everyone. And I think that goes a long way on the field, just having team chemistry and really having strong relationships. And then tell us about playing for Coach Nelson. Seems like an awesome coach to, to yeah. play for. He, coach Nelson is an awesome coach. He's a really good guy. He's a really awesome coach. He coaches us and tells us, you know, what he wants us to do. But at the end of the day, he lets us play soccer. And I think that's important is he really lets us play how we play and he helps build our confidence. And he just wants us to, at the end of the day, have fun and just feel good about ourselves while we're playing. And I think that's really important. Fantastic. And then I have one more, actually. Mm -hmm. how, have you, how do you think you have evolved as a goal scorer from your freshman year to, to now? Does it, does it come easier to you? Do you let the game come to you a little uh, bit more? Or how would you? It's a good question. I don't think it necessarily comes easier. I think it just changes. I mean, freshman year, I was the freshman you know, playing with seniors. So my role is different. And I think sure. every you know, year I get older and I grow more as a player. So my role does change a little bit. But I don't think I would say it comes easier. It just it just changes and it changes who I'm playing with and the type of players and the style of players. So I just think it's it differs from year to year for sure. Of course, we're focused on this year, Desert Hills Thunder, but uh, you have committed to play mm -hmm. college soccer at Utah State, right? Yes, Take us through that process. How excited are you to be an Aggie? Um, that process, it's a hard one. It's tough for anyone who's done it. It's tough. It, you have to start young and I think committing is really exciting because it's what you've worked for since you're in seventh, eighth grade. So finally like getting to commit is just a really cool feeling and just like being proud of yourself and just knowing that all the work you have put in like amounted to something. Awesome. Congratulations, Ellie. Thanks thank so you. much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Good luck the rest of the season. Ellie Hendricks, all time goal scoring leader for Desert Hills High School. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with more on the Region Rush.